super important company now with Infosys losing out on a major contract after a client Royal Bank of Scotland put off its expansion plans. The street is racing for the IT giant to revise its growth guidance lower in the next earnings season. This expectation has now been compounded after an analyst meet in Pune saw CEO Vishal Sikka sounding cautious about the year ahead. Here's a report. The British people's decision to leave the European Union sent out shock waves across the world. And Indian IT is definitely feeling the tremors. Infosys is one of the first casualties, with client Royal Bank of Scotland making a multi-million dollar contract redundant by putting off its expansion plans. This has CEO Vishal Sikka taking a cautious tone when discussing where Infosys is headed. Without further ado, here are the top four questions that Sikka found the toughest to answer and the answers that analysts are still digesting. Sikka said, we can confidently say that second quarter growth will be better than first quarter and the way the quarter ends will be important for the guidance. We have another five weeks of execution until the end of the quarter, so clarity on the guidance will only come in October. We are not doing any layoffs. Uh, the, um, the, there is no involuntary attrition like that. We have uh, worked on an elaborate mechanism to identify the high performers. Uh, they are not just the ones whose managers say they are high performers, but they truly are high performers. Our consulting business um, saw some, uh, we declined. If consulting itself has a somewhat a uh, dilutive effect on the margin, I think that it will be more than compensated for by the overall uh, effect uh, that it has. Now the drag factors of Q1 we have put behind and we have addressed and at least uh, arrested some of those factors. At the same time, some of the things that uh, we had not anticipated when we gave guidance like uh, the impact of this RBS, etc. So there are both factors that we need to see whether RBS is uh, one-off, are there more? And at this point in time, we can't say. Uh, there are uncertainties around it. Clearly, that last answer has not inspired much confidence. And if there are indeed more such cancellations, or worse, an inability to bag more such large deals, Infosys may soon have to bite the bullet and lower its FY17 growth guidance. And that will mean a big setback for Sikka's turnaround strategy. However, some analysts point out that Infosys does have a couple of things going for it. A deal pipeline and market share that are better than that of its rivals in the Indian IT space. And a huge cash pile that will allow for acquisitions and investments that can bring in newer capabilities. With Rukmani Rao in Bengaluru, in Mumbai, Surabhi Upadhyay.